How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in today's video we're going to be covering something incredibly important for practically all Nvidia GPU users. Whether you're on an old Nvidia GPU or you're on the latest and greatest RTX GPUs. In this video we're going to be covering something Nvidia took away from you in recent driver updates. In this video we're going to be covering what I believe to be a super important and very useful feature which Nvidia removed from their drivers over a year ago. Thankfully there are quick and easy ways which we can utilize to make sure that we can get this driver feature back as it is still embedded into the driver. Nvidia Sharpen is one of the best features and I used to use it all of the time when it was really easily accessible with inside of the NVIDIA control panel. This was removed from the default driver option and was bundled with image scaling and sharpen, which is a great option if you're looking to run lower than native resolutions, but most people aren't. So in this video, we're going to be covering two methods in which you can quickly and easily utilize to get this back into your games and some recommended settings in which I would utilize to get the best results from your game, whether you're running at 1080p, 1440p, or even 4K. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump straight into it after a quick message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. NVIDIA Sharpen is still available with inside of the NVIDIA overlay which you can access if you have GeForce Experience installed, but unfortunately using the overlay version of NVIDIA Sharpen seems to have a pretty hefty performance impact compared to the driver level one. So we'll also be comparing performance for the driver level version compared to the overlay version to prove how much better the driver version actually is. To start off, if you are looking to update your NVIDIA GPU drivers anytime soon, I would highly recommend that you do it before we jump into this setting. So if there is a GPU driver available and you're thinking of updating, update now, get it out of the way, and we can continue on. At this point, there are then two methods available to us. One involves us jumping into the Windows registry to change over one file, and it's simple and easy to do. I know some people are quite scared of the registry, and that's fine. If you don't want to do that, we can also utilize method two, which is built into the NVIDIA control panel. Let's first of all check to see if this option is already enabled in your control panel. Right-click anywhere on the desktop, open up the NVIDIA control panel. Head over to the top left-hand side to manage 3D settings. Under global settings, this should say image sharpen, or image sharpening. If it says image scaling, the option is not available to you and the only way to get image sharpening is by enabling GPU scaling and sharpening. That means that it's not enabled on your system and we can go ahead and manually override this. The quickest and easiest way to do this inside of the NVIDIA control panel without editing the registry is to head over to the left hand side, go to adjust desktop size and position. Click on your main monitor. We're going to be making use of integer scaling if the option is available to you. Unfortunately with integer scaling, if you play games at lower than native resolution or if you play with custom resolutions or stretched resolution they will no longer work with integer scaling selected. But if you play all of your games at the native resolution anyway, or you utilize stuff like DLSS or FSR, you're completely good to go. Enable integer scaling if you want to use this method. At any time, if you want to revert this back, if you're getting strange resolutions or you don't want this enabled anymore, all you need to do is come back over to adjust desktop size and position, click on your main monitor and set it back to the option it was before, which will more than likely be no scaling or full screen. But we're going to be going with integer scaling for now. Navigate over to the top left-hand side once again, back to manage 3D settings. This time for me under global settings, you can see that the image scaling option has changed over to just image sharpening so we have the old image sharpening back with inside of the control panel that quickly and easily. Now don't go ahead turning this on just yet I would never recommend turning this on under global settings as setting this system wide will mean that this will also be applied to applications editing programs and web browsers and it could cause a weird graphical bug inside of applications where it looks like someone's shaken salt all over your screen. If you do run into that that will be because you've enabled Nvidia sharpening on the global settings. Instead head over to program settings go to the drop down menu and select this on a per game basis. So if I wanted to add this to Apex Legends, I would select Apex Legends, head over to Image Sharpening, change the option, turn it on, then set my custom settings. In all honesty, the settings I prefer to use are just the default settings of 0.50 and 0.17. You can adjust these down to personal preference. They won't adjust performance by much, if not at all. So by all means, come in here and adjust these settings. Do note that whenever you adjust the sharpen settings with inside of here, you will have to restart your game in most cases to see the changes actually being made. And just like that, I have Image Sharpening, then enabled on Apex Legends. If you wanted to set it up for a different game, then all you need to do is go to the drop-down menu and select the game once again. If you don't see the game in this initial menu, go to the right-hand side to add. Scroll down, you should then be able to find the application for the game you want to add this to. So for me, I want to add this to CSGO. Navigate down, highlight CSGO, add program, image sharpen, on, set your settings, select OK, go to the bottom right, and apply. And just like that, you're making use of the old NVIDIA Sharpen technique. But what if you want to stick with your current resolution settings and you don't want to make use of integer scaling or you don't have integer 
texture scaling available to you. To enable this at the driver level for all options with inside of the NVIDIA control panel, all you need to do is exit out of the control panel as that will need to restart when we change this anyway. Take yourself to the bottom left hand side, type for reg edit, then select registry editor. Before we make any adjustments to the registry, even though this is incredibly quick, simple and safe to do, for those of you that want to take an extra step to make sure that everything goes completely fine and you have an option to revert everything if you want to, head over to the top left hand side to file, then head to export. This way we can create a registry backup which we can utilize at any time by double clicking on it and it will then revert the registry back to how it was before we change anything. Save this to the desktop and just simply call it reg backup or just something that you will remember. Then go ahead and select save. This can take a little while depending on how old your Windows installation is and at any time after this video if you want to revert everything back but you can't remember where you went to or what you changed you can always utilize this reg backup just by simply double clicking on it then selecting yes and the registry will then go back to its default values as it was before we changed anything. The easiest way to get to where we're going to be editing is to navigate inside of the description down below where you'll be able to find this reg location which you can copy and paste. Make sure that you've got it all the way from the right hand side where it says FTS all the way to the left where it says computer right click select copy. Inside of registry editor go up to the direction bar highlight everything press backspace right click paste press enter. You should then be brought into the folder under computer, HQ local machine, system, current control set, services, NVL, DD, MKM, and finally FTS. Once you're inside of this folder, all of these keys will appear. On the right hand side, we need to go towards the middle section and find the key titled enable GR535. Do not adjust any values for any other keys with inside of here. We will only be adjusting this individual key, which is GR535. Double check that it's the correct key, double click, change the value data from one, or whatever it's set to, to zero. Once it's set to zero, press OK. If for any reason you want to come back with inside of here and set this back up to its default settings and revert everything, all you need to do is come back to the exact same location by pasting in the directory or going to it manually, finding the 535 key like we did earlier, and set the value data back to one. But that's only if you want to turn this back off. If you want NVIDIA Sharp and enabled, set this to zero. With the registry then changed, go ahead and right click on the desktop, open up the NVIDIA control panel once again to make sure that the edit has actually been adjusted. Head over to the left hand side to manage 3D settings, you should then be able to see image sharpening is now back and selectable. And just like before, if you use the other method, I would not recommend turning this setting on under the global settings, as this will be applied system-wide to all of your applications, web browsing, videos, and games, and it can create a graphical bug which happens every now and then, where it looks like salt has been spilt all over your monitor. So make sure this is turned off here, head over to program settings, go to the drop down menu, select the game you want to add this to, as we're going to be setting this up on a per game basis. So for me, I'm going to be adding this to Fortnite in this example, go to the top option for image sharpening, hit the drop down menu, turn this on, set this to any values you wish to do so. I personally really like the default values of 0.50 and 0.17, but you can adjust these for yourself on a per game basis. Just know that when you turn this on, off, or adjust the settings, you will need to restart your game for this to take effect in most cases. Here you can see a quick side-by-side -side of NVIDIA Sharp and enabled with inside of the driver, and it turned off with inside of the driver, so you can see what sort of visual impact this can have. If you wanted to add this to another game or multiple games, once again, just simply navigate inside of the drop-down menu and select your game from inside of here. If you can't find the application for the game you want to add, go to the add section. You'll then be met with your recently used applications. So if I wanted to add this to Cyberpunk, I would navigate down to Cyberpunk, select add selected program, go to NVIDIA Sharpening, turn this on, set my settings, go down to the bottom to OK, apply, and we're then good to go. If you still can't find your game with inside of there, you can always utilize the browse function where you can go directly to the game application file itself. And it's just as quick and easy as that to get the old NVIDIA Sharpen back and back up and running on your system to get a finer level of detail over the quality of your games. Again, that will work on practically all NVIDIA GPUs. Last but not least, we have our examples side by side of utilizing the GeForce Experience Sharpen filter on the right hand side compared to the NVIDIA Sharpen built into the driver, which we've just enabled on the left hand side. We can see the performance graphs on screen, but you can see that there are some notable increases in performance utilizing it this way, and we can just set it and forget it inside of the driver and never have to worry about it again. And there you guys have it. Let me know which games you're utilizing Sharpen on and what you've seen great results on, or if you have any custom settings, let me know in that comment section down below. And if you like content like this and want to get more out of your system, consider checking out the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you over there.